Once upon a time, in the kingdom of Ithaca, a prince was born. Odysseus, the son of King Laertes, a former Argonaut, and Anticlea, the daughter of Autolycus. Being the grandson of Autolycus, the most renowned king of Thebes, and son of Hermes, Odysseus learned some of his grandfather's crafts and tricks. He learned well enough, that he became cunning as well, known far and near, for his intellectual brilliance, craftiness, and persuasive speaking skills. As a teenage boy, Odysseus, during one of his visits to his grandfather, decided to take part, in a boar hunting expedition, organized by his uncles. That was his very first hunting expedition, and the lad wanted to know what the adventure, felt like. When the hunting began, it happened that the path Odysseus had taken, was the path the wild boar was running towards. With no experience and prior hunting skills, young Odysseus was able to kill the wild boar. However, in their fight, the boar gave him a deep wound, on his leg, which left a large recognizable scar, after the wound had healed. That scar, became Odysseus' trademark. Anyone who saw it, immediately knew who he was. Years later, when he had grown into a man, Odysseus was selected, as one of the many suitors, of Helen, the beautiful stepdaughter of King Tyndareus, of Sparta. Although Helen was the most beautiful woman anyone had ever seen, Odysseus was not so interested in winning her, because he had fallen in love with Helen's cousin, Penelope, the daughter of Icarius, brother to Tyndareus. In addition, the princess had way too many suitors, that he, with no extraordinarily fine features, was less likely to be chosen. It was clear to him, that Menelaus, the suitor with the most appealing looks, would win the hand of Helen. Odysseus thought of a way, to make Penelope his wife, and came up with a brilliant idea. Helen's suitors were so many, that even King Tyndareus, feared a possible outbreak of conflict, if he chose any one of them. So the crafty Odysseus used this situation, to his advantage. He offered Tyndareus a solution, in exchange for Penelope's hand in marriage, to which Tyndareus agreed. Odysseus made all the suitors, swear an oath, that they would respect the king's final choice, that they would respect whoever the king picked, to be his daughter's husband, and that they would support the couple, in any ill fate, the two may face, in the future. In the end, Menelaus was chosen, to be the husband of Helen, just as Odysseus suspected. And all the other suitors, peacefully left the city of Sparta, to their various homes, except Odysseus. His plan worked perfectly well. Fulfilling his own end of the bargain, King Tyndareus, gave Odysseus, the hand of Penelope, in marriage. Odysseus took his wife to his kingdom, Ithaca, where he assumed the throne, as the new king. The couple had a son named, Telemachus, and lived a very happy life, till came the events, which led to the Trojan War, 